Right, the dough. Palais Royal, Pierre Cochon interview. Relaxing in bath when I was disturbed by a phone call from my editor, Ronnie. He asked me to interview Pierre Cochin. Cochon. Media tycoon and serial philanderer on the case like a shot. Creepy, ma creepy mime outside the Cochon's apartment. Madame Cochon, cold as ice. Monsieur Cochon, suave and charming, living up to his reputation. I played along with his flirtation. The sound of a vase smashing and Monsieur Cochon went to investigate. A gunshot. I rushed to the room and found, found a mime standing over Cochon's body. Mime beckoned. As I walked to him, he punched me, knocked me out. Came to find Imelda distraught. Almost feel sorry for her. Must go to get to the bottom of the story before the police arrive. This is the break that I've wait waited for. Imelda doesn't trust me very much. Fortunately, fortunately, she's chosen to let me investigate her husband's murder. Diary is it's not up to longest journey. Now we were getting somewhere. Yeah, it's a drawing room. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, comp I'm comparing this game to The Longest Journey as well. It was awesome. I didn't need the lights on. It was light enough already. So this is probably something up there that we need to interact with, I guess. The painting showed the cachons together. In love. As the poet said, the past is a different country. Or did I read that in a fortune cookie? <laughs> Um, can I not look? Aha! Uh -huh. There was a small button hidden in the picture frame. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word hidden for that. There was the very faintest of clicks. Okay. Oh, and I assume oh, that might just be sitting down, I guess. As expected, the desk was yet another priceless antique yawn. The blotter and in-tray had clearly been placed with mathematical precision. So if I move it... My heart skipped a beat. It was a carved elephant. But not just any carved elephant. It had been made by my father. I knew for certain because in my apartment I had its exact twin. Carved into a box he had made. So cochon had known my father. They really must have been friends. I decided to take the carved elephant. It clearly meant nothing to Imelda. Stealing everything that's not nailed down. I didn't need a sheet of blotting paper. Not while it was blank. I didn't want to take the tray, but I knew that I could use it. Okay. Okay. The paint would have just soaked into the blotting paper. But the idea was good. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything in the sofa? This wasn't the time for me to lie on this sofa doing my Marie Antoinette impression. No, Though it is very popular at parties, especially with gay guys. Don't ask me why. There's nothing else to interact with at the moment, one that I can see. I'm gonna double click to try and. Ooh, what's through here? And the bottom is like double clicking when I can move faster. Like, Locked. Oh. Not surprising, really. So, do we use this key for it as well? It didn't work, but I guess it would have been surprising if it had. Why? It's draw unless. Uh, it's, still the, it's still going into the drawing room. So, what was the button? What did the button do? Oh! Behind the picture was a safe. I thought it was open. The fact it moved out, it gone somewhere else. Is there anything else to look at? No, it's just that one which we know, or we guess is that, or I guess was that key, because that's the safe for it. And we find... In the safe was some kind of artifact. Hmm. There were strange symbols on its surface. It looked like the printer's blocks I'd made at art school. Ah, okay. If there was one thing I'd learned about symbols, they are always important. But these symbols scratched into stone were impossible to read. Yes, yes, I yes. needed to find a way of printing them. Yes, At least the stone was round. But what could I use for ink? The paint. And what could I print on? The blotting paper. Sure, I was stealing, but I knew Imelda didn't know about the artifact, and Carchon was past caring. <laughs> like, I, uh... Painful. What can I use to do the, the, the thing I've, I've tried to do and you've told me I can't do? Putting the paint straight on the cylinder would be too messy. 
The paint would go everywhere. What? Do I put that there then? The blotter was flat already. Rolling the cylinder across it would achieve nothing. Okay, right, right, right. Figured it out. Right, there. Right. I'd spread blue paint over the bottom of the tray. It was ruined. I was a very bad, bad girl, but also quite a clever one. Yes, let me be clever. Stop telling me what I'm doing. I know what I'm trying to do here. What? That's not how you roll it. I rolled the artifact in the paint until it was completely coated. Okay, that's not doing what I thought it would. Um, no. Um, no. Right, so I'm moving that. Which is what I thought you were doing, but you put it into your jacket. Genius! The roller and the paint worked just as I planned, but what did it say? Sub Judice. SDSS DSS. It was some kind of coded message. It read, Subjudice. I may not have learned a lot as a journalist, but that was a term I knew well. It means a legal case that is before the courts. Below it was a sequence of letters that made no sense. I suddenly realized there was a connection between the boat ticket and the coded message. The boat ticket was stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. The Conciergerie on the Ile de la Cité, by the river, housed the ancient law courts. Oh, okay. So, subjudice could, in this case, mean literally under the law courts, below the Conciergerie. I was pretty sure I'd found all I could here. And besides, all this opulence was making me pine for my regular life of poverty. This was a huge story. It was also one heck of a puzzle with a lot of pieces missing. But I was going to crack it. And if I could just remember the name of that fancy prize you get for being an ace journalist, Pulitzer? I was definitely going to win it this time. Pulitzer. Yes. <laughs> this is painful. Um, in Carchon's safe, found a stone cylinder with symbols called in service. Got an imprint and found that it contained a coded message. Sub judice. Uh, SDSS, DSS. Subjudice refers to a case that's under jurisdiction of a court, bottom of the letters. Carchon was. Oh, because I picked this up, it's like, oh, rather than. If I'd picked it up on its own, it should. It would have just clicked itself. Oh well. Carchon was carrying a boat ticket marked Bateau de la Conciergerie. The Conciergerie being the ancient law courts. The code message includes the words Subjudice under the law courts, under the court. Uh, I should follow the clues exactly by going to the quayside on the Ile de la Cité, uh, literally under the conciergerie. I wonder why they put the... Why is this a thing I can interact with? I didn't need the lights on. It was light enough already. Mm, I'm intrigued and confused. I know I'm technically a witness to a murder, but I'm leaving. Did you find anything useful? This carving. Do you know anything about it? It was Pierre's. What does the statue have to do with... Please, I need to know. He was given it by a friend. Something to do with Africa. When? He never explained any more. No. But I think it was important to him. Oh. Always on display. Why? It was carved by my father. Oh, that oh I see. One. Okay. I didn't know. Imelda, I will do everything I can to find the killer. Thank you, my dear. And if the police ask, don't worry. You were never here. Subjudice was the key. I was going to have to find a way under the conciergerie. I decided to head straight for the quayside on the Ile de la Cité. I, I was... If there was a way of getting under the conciergerie, it would have to be from there. I was thinking she was talking about the little um, one with the carving marks on. From the Ile de la Cité. Canchon wasn't the type for messing about on the river. He was up to something down here. Something that got him killed. I could well get us killed as well, love. Clang. The fence wouldn't move. What about this one? Ooh, I saw a fleeting up here, did I? Maybe I was imagining it. 
This fence wouldn't move either. Ah. It was the old boathouse for the conciergerie. If I was right about the meaning of subjudice, then the answer had to lie somewhere here on the quayside. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. The cross looked familiar. I'd seen it before. Of course, it yeah. was embroidered on the lace cloth I picked up at Cochon's apartment. I knew I was on the right track. Oh, no. Rolling out the painted cylinder had given me a print of a secret message. It read, no. Subjudice. Below it was a sequence of letters. No, it's irrelevant. S D S S. That's not what I'm talking about. S S. That's not what I'm talking about. The cloth was embroidered with an unusual symbol. Which is this one? Uh, no. Yes. Uh, no. Uh, yes. Well, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, you do. You did what I wanted. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh. This is the way we're meant to go through, is it? I tried pushing the fence, but it wouldn't move. A strange pair of locks stopped the latches from releasing the gate. Ah, puzzles, puzzles. Right, okay, so. So if I do that, it doesn't help. Yes, it does. No, I'm just putting things. I'm putting that back on. I guess. So that's unlocked. That. So I need to move these out again. But unfortunately, this now blocks out all of these areas. Oh no 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 no! There we go. Yes. One down, one to go. There we go. Yeah. Can I move over to this one? Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, this is a rush hour puzzle, I know how to do this. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's why I couldn't click it straight away before. Alright, so we call you. Actually, no, 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 I need to... To move these again, actually. And then we move that. Except moving that means I can't move this across to move this up. So I need to move this out. This is weird because I can't move this where I want to move it, so I need to drop you down. Hmm. Oh great. I've now I'm now I've now got this guy stuck. <laughs> Do we move you no. I wonder if there's a way to reset this. I assume there is, because I've I've moved everything legally. It's about a matter of moving this guy up. Or down. If I move him down, I need to move this one up. We, oh, that's what I need to do. So then I need to move this one across. So you go up. Uh, which means I need to move this one up. So that you can get past. Which means I need to move this one to the left. Which means I need to move that one, those ones down. Right, that's what I did. And then I'm in this issue where I can't move this one back. So I need to move this one back. So I can move that one up to move that. But I can't move that that way. I can't move that any further because this one can't go any higher or lower. Because these ones are stuck. Right, let's, I'm never any good at these. Yeah, so I have to move this one. That requires me to move this now, which I can't do. I mean, if I could move it out of the way of here, so 
means you are there. Can't move these sideways. Yes. Um. Hmm. So I need to move you that way, which means I need to move these both down. I need to move this one down, which means I need to move this one. Which means I need to move this one. Which means I need to move one of these, actually. So if I move... And then I'm back here, where I need to move this, but I can't because I've got to move this. Hmm. And everything's... I've packed everything in the... <laughs> I like puzzles. I'm not good at them. I never said that. Ah, okay, this is, this is the issue. The only way I can move this is if I move this here. But I can't do that while this one's here. And if I do that, then this one's stuck. Do I go for a hint? I don't want to go for a hint. Yeah, okay, so you're nothing new. And I've not got any particular... I can't use any of my items here. Hmm. Right. So I need to move this one down. Because going up isn't enough. I need to move down. Which means I move, need to move this left. Which means I need to move this one up. Which means I need to move this one right means I need to move this one up and this one up. Now that means, to move any further up, I need to move this one left. Which means I need to move this one down, which I can't do while that's there, so I need to drop this down. I'm sure people are screaming at the screen, saying, no, it's so obvious. It's like, I'm sure it is. Oh, what? Oh, I need to move this. Ah! I'm moving things around in a slightly progressive way, which is good. But, I need to move this one out of the way. I wonder what if it does... How do I open the locks? I know, I know. In order to make them feel to work out... Yes. No, no, I don't want to use the hint. I don't want to cheat. I was wondering if it would just be like, here's what you do, or here's the one you need to move. That's kind of how I would have done it. You program it in, like, what it works out, what the next move it needs to do is, to get back. 